go. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the April 2021 edition of the Heart of Cary Association meeting, where today we have two wonderful panelists. Uh, we'll have their information sent to you so that you can address questions directly to them uh, after you've had an opportunity to watch today's presentation. Uh, Sarah Martin is the chair of the Cary 150 Task Force, and in a near 30-year experience as a Cary resident and a community volunteer, um, she's eager uh, to help share her personal uh, enthusiasm about the 150 year anniversary uh, of our, uh, the, the founding uh, of our local community. She and her husband moved to the Cary area right after college and began professional careers in what they would soon learn is a fabulous place to live, work and play and raise a family. A former certified public accountant, she has used her professional skills to lead nonprofits in the local area and to build stronger networks in the nonprofit community in the Triangle and across the state of North Carolina. She's a mother of two, uh, now 20 somethings, and Sarah has devoted time to serving her community both through nonprofits and through the town of Cary work for over two decades now. Uh, she calls the Cary 150 celebration work one of the most interesting and fun projects that she's ever undertaken. And her enthusiasm for her adopted hometown of Cary is evident throughout her work and you'll soon hear it in her presentation this morning. Our second panelist is Virginia Johnson. Uh, Virginia goes by Ginny. Uh, Ginny joined the town of Cary in 2013 and has been serving as the town clerk since 2016. Uh, Ginny earned her bachelor's degree in business administration from Methodist University in Fayetteville, North Carolina. She's a certified municipal clerk by the International Institute of Municipal Clerks and a member of the North Carolina Association of Municipal Clerks Association. Please help me welcome this morning, Sarah Martin and Ginny Johnson. Thank you for having us. It's great to have you here this morning. We're so excited to hear about what opportunities lie ahead for local citizens and, and even non-residents who would just like to learn more and more about our history. Absolutely. So um, just thank you again for having us. We are so appreciative to be um, in front of the Heart of Cary Association membership and guests. Um, I'm going to take a moment to share my screen. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thank you. Um, so we are, as you know, we are celebrating our 150th um, birthday this year, Carrie is. And today we'll talk a little bit about what 2021 means in Carrie, um, the people behind the celebration and those who are planning through our task force and our staff team, um, some big and small initiatives that you can get involved in. And um, also just let you know, we're here to answer any questions and talk about next steps as well. And, feel free to reach out with the information that Scott sends out. So as, um, as we're here to celebrate 2021, we actually turned 150 years on April 3rd. Um, and so we were incorporated on April 3rd, 1871. Uh, mayor Frank Page, as you see in the picture, was our first mayor. And now our mayor, Harold Weinbreck, um, you can just see the difference in, you know, what 150 years um, makes because just looking at these pictures and how much time has changed. We were incorporated by the state um, as a, in our charter, it calls us as a village known as Cary. We became the town of Cary on April 3rd, 1871. Um, starting in 2018, um, council appointed a task force a group of citizens that represent each of one of our already existing advisory boards. So these volunteers um, went above and beyond in giving their time and still continue to, to kind of prioritize and make sure that the Carry 150th celebration is something for the whole community. And one of the first things we did was we sat down and we made a mission statement. And that was important because that helped us kind of guide how we were planning the year. We wanted to make sure everything honored Carrie's past, engaged citizens in the present, and got people excited about the future. We continue to meet. Our meetings, of course, are now virtual, like many of 
yours are and um, continue to plan the rest of the year. Our website is carry150th.org. I hope you've all had a chance to um, uh, visit there. You'll see that theme throughout our website, past, present, and future, and also throughout the presentation today. Um, on our website, some things that we're really proud of, in addition to listing all the ways you can get involved, we have a historic timeline that highlights the um, carry throughout the years, but then also gives you um, a detailed timeline that shows you even more than um, Carrie's 150th, um, 150 year anniversary um, history. So one way that you can get involved today is you can visit our site to share your story. Everyone has a great story about Carrie, whether it's your favorite restaurant, your favorite greenway, um, why you um, arrived in Carrie, what made you choose to live in Carrie, and then also your best wishes um, for the future. What would you want your children's children to read about Carrie and the time that we are living in now. So I'm challenging everyone to submit their stories. We're trying to collect as many as possible. Stories are highlighted on our site. Um, we refresh it weekly. So we are trying to update with new content so people come back and check and see if their story was highlighted that week. Also on our social media, we'll be sharing and highlighting stories. And then um, we are in the early stages of coming up with what a time capsule for 2021 will look like. We do know that every story that is provided to us will be preserved in a way and put into the time capsule so future generations can read our stories. How exciting is that? <laughs> yeah, and we're the share your story feature is what collects the stories, but if you look on our site, the virtual scrapbook, you can actually go through and read people's memories. It's really neat. And so um, enthusiastic about just how much people love carrying. You can see those in the memories. So um, in case you missed it, um, the April 3rd virtual celebration is available still on our Facebook page and our YouTube channel, the Town of Carrie's um, channels. It really celebrated the incorporation of Carrie through a social uh, a showcase video mm -hmm. that really highlighted the the best to carry through our past, present, and future lens. Then we had the commemorative concert by Chad and Rabbits and his Golden Messenger in the iconic Paige Walker. Um, and it's, it's a great, it's about an hour long. If you can't watch for the whole hour, I do encourage everybody to turn in for those few couple um, minutes in the beginning that show the showcase video because that really gets you excited about the community you live in. We also did a lot of interactive opportunities through social media. And if you had a chance to miss it, you can go back through your feed and find them. Um, we encourage people to submit their birthday wishes um, through video and we would still welcome those and would love for people to join us in social media. Um, and so of course, we had a lot of plans for this year as many people did and the pandemic really made us stop and have to alter our plans. And one way that we did that is we took our April um, celebration that was gonna be in person, gonna be downtown, a big community celebration, and we have moved it to July. And we hope in July that we're able to gather safely, um, keeping everybody's health in mind. And to help kind of with the gathering size, we're spreading it across two weekends. And so starting on July 24th, we will have um, a art projection show on the Cary Art Center. So if you visited Disney World or Disneyland and seen the show that they have done on the castle, that is the experience we are bringing to downtown Cary. Um, it will run on a loop um, at, in the evening, starting on July 24th and last two weekends. Also um, look out for ways to get involved that week as well. We are currently talking to local bakeries about how we can ensure that everybody gets a carry 150th treat. Um, there may be a bingo board involved um, to help people kind of go around and visit the different bakeries and then um, submit those for prizes as well. Fantastic. Then in the fall, we'll have a masquerade gala and we're kind of playing on the theme of masks. At first, when we were planning this, we thought we would 
be out of um, the season of wearing masks, but we think that, you know, of course, as you've seen the news, we'll probably be wearing a mask for a little bit longer. Um, but the masquerade does play on the new tradition of wearing masks. It will be themed in the past, present, and future. It's currently scheduled for November the 13th um, as an embassy suite. The proceeds from the gala will um, benefit our town associated nonprofit, so Oasis and um, our Play It Forward Fund. And there, it really will be the atmosphere that you'll experience. We are currently working with someone to build a train car within the embassy suite so that you can you know, take a step back into the past and have um, a piece of birthday cake with us while you sit on a train car from um, our past years. Um, there will be everything from dinner to dancing. And currently we are um, gathering interest from people who would like to sponsor the event. So if you have any interest in being a sponsor for the gala, um, feel free to reach out to myself or Sarah and we will put you in touch with um, the planners. Other things that are going on, um, we're currently working on a documentary that will be released later this year, a historic play, working with Carrie Players and the Mason Place Productions um, that really highlight unique stories. They did a grassroots efforts to collect these stories and then they'll be putting them on stage later in the fall. Um, one thing that, you know, the Heart of Carrie would love to hear is, would love to hear is the walking and driving tours that highlight downtown Cary. So um, those are available on our website. We made them in a way that you can print them at home and then you can walk downtown and also drive downtown and see some of the um, iconic places that kind of make our community's character. And um, it allows you to discover Cary at your own pace. We did a tree giveaway that was in lieu of a tree planting. Again, we had to shift our plans and um, come up with a COVID friendly way. The uh, My Tree, Our Tree was a great program. It sold out in 40 minutes and we look forward to doing another one in the fall. Also, um, we had originally scheduled to be have an art exhibit in the Cary Arts Center. Um, Again, they transitioned um, very well and they turned it into a farmer's market booth where they had people mm -hmm. come by and create their own masks, write their wishes for Carrie. And then also they collected people's um, pictures because um, they wanted to highlight the diversity of Carrie and how much we are all connected um, through our community we love. And that will, um, those pictures and the people that were involved they will be doing kind of a pop-up art um, projection on the Cary Art Center, similar to what you may have seen for the seniors that we did last spring. So um, if you are, of course, again, our theme is past, present, and future. And one of the ways that we're highlighting our past and connecting it to our future is through the history moments by our council member, um, liaison Ed Yerha. At each month, um, council meeting, Mr. Yarha is highlighting a segment of Kerry's history. So, so far he's done How's Kerry Become a Town, Kerry's Mayors, um, and also our African American history. And then this month there will be another theme at our April 22nd meeting, and I hope you all turn in to see that. If you missed any, they're available on our website, um, carry150.org, and you can go back and watch them. And they're, they're short segments and they're really great. And um, Council Member Yerha does a great way of um, making it lighthearted, fun to hear, and also gives you some nuggets of Carrie's history that you may not have already known. So we hope that you, um, after today's presentation, take the time to share with others about the Carry 150th. Um, stay up to date by visiting our website and get involved. Um, we would love to see your story come through our Share Your Story portal. I'd love to see you at the July 24th event or another night that over those two weekends. And then, of course, see you at the Embassy Suite for our gala. Um, while you're doing anything, Carry 150th, we'd love to hear um, from you on social and using our hashtag, Carry 150. Um, happy birthday, Carrie, and then sesquicentennial, which you get extra points if you um, say and spell that right. 
um, I want to thank you for allowing us to be here today and to um, give us some closing comments. I'm going to turn it over to Sarah. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you all so much, friends, for having us um, a, being able to share with you about all the things happening over the course of the coming year. Um, as Jenny said, we've been planning for a long time and we've had to kind of shift gears mid course um, to ensure that we can do things safely for all of our citizens. But we know that this organization is full of people that love Carrie. And um, people ask me quite often, what is it about Carrie that just gets you so excited? What is it? What is the secret sauce? And I, I truly think the secret sauce in Carrie is, is the people and the traditions and the way that we come together and support each other. And I think we have lots of opportunities to do that over the course of the coming year. So hopefully you have seen something in today's presentation that kind of rings your bell um, that will get you excited and make you want to be um, a part of the 150th celebration. I really hope that you'll share your story. I know Jenny spent a little bit of time talking about that at our website, carry150.org. It's just a quick moment uh, to type in a story. You can share um, a story for yourself, for your family. Um, Scott, I'd encourage you to share a story from the heart of Carrie, um, just to, to talk about the association and what all you all have done. Um, who knows in the future, uh, you know, what we'll be looking back on or what our children or grandchildren will be looking back on. And we'd love to have as many stories in there as possible. We were amazed when we got our task force together the first night, one of our task force members, uh, her grandfather had served on a similar task force when Carrie turned 100 years old. And so that kind of came full circle for us. So who knows if our children, grandchildren, I probably won't be here 50 years from now um, planning the bicentennial for Carrie, but who knows who, who in our family might be. And so please take the time to share your story. It might feel a little awkward at first, but gosh, wouldn't it be exciting for someone in future generations that you know or that is related to you to go back and find that you had put an entry into the scrapbook. Think about it. I hope you'll do it. And I hope we'll see you out there. If you have any questions whatsoever about the events that are going on, feel free to reach out to Jenny or myself. Scott's going to give you our contact information, and we would be more than happy uh, to talk with you or to trade emails or whatever we need to do to get your questions answered. Or if you have ideas that you want to shoot our way, um, you know, we are still uh, working on things that are coming up in the future. And if there's something else we can incorporate, we'd love to do it encourage you to get involved. And I just want to thank you for making Carrie such a special place. Thanks for having us this morning. Sarah and Ginny, thank you both so much for a wonderful presentation. We do have some amazing members and I'm going to challenge every one of our members and our guests to share at least one story. I know you have many, but please share at least one story and give them some great options to choose from. Uh, one of the questions that has already come up, and, and I would hope that you take just a moment to maybe share um, a, a response. Uh, so what types of volunteer opportunities, if any, will there be for part of CARI members uh, for the July events and, uh, and perhaps even for the masquerade in November? Um, yeah, you know, as we are working through the details of those events, we can't say, you know, what opportunities you would be there, but we do know that we want to make it a community event and get volunteers involved. But, you know, right now we're kind of seeing that scale of what kind of an event we can have, you know, with, with the gathering size. So we really made our volunteer opportunities virtual. So okay. the share your story, um, post in your birthday wishes um, on the website, I mean, Facebook or or your social media. So we try to take that volunteer um, opportunities and give people a way to virtually participate. Also, they can take the tours and then okay. let us know on social media that you have taken the tour, take a picture of the stop that you've come at. Um, let us know that you're taking those by using our hashtag. I think 
Scott, one of the biggest things that we have right now is just trying to ensure that everybody in Cary knows about um, all of the events that are happening. So word of mouth and social media are two of our greatest friends. Um, I know the folks that are right in the heart of carry see people that are coming in uh, from day to day or walking the streets or whatever the case may be. But we really want the celebration to be about everybody in Cary, um, regardless of where you live. If you live downtown, great. If you live in South Cary, great. If you live in West Cary, North Cary, East Cary, it doesn't matter. It's for you to be involved with. And so the more help we can get promotionally, mm -hmm. the more help that we can get to spread the word mm -hmm. and to invite people to come and get involved and, and be a part of it. I mean, right now, that's our drastic need. That's um, fantastic. So well, I'll also it, just point out, Scott, if any of you that are on the call today mm -hmm. um, have other organizations that you're involved with that we could potentially make a presentation to, we'd love to talk with you about that. We'd love to be able to do this same presentation or a similar one with other groups. So if you if your community of faith or another uh, nonprofit or your HOA or whatever the case may be. Uh, would be interested, just let us know. That's fantastic. And for those of you who are watching this uh, on the recorded version on YouTube, I would encourage you to share it uh, with all your networks, share it on LinkedIn, share it uh, through other forms of social media. Uh, I would like to just give uh, one uh, final shout out to uh, uh, council person, uh, Ed Yurha. Uh, he's been a long-term member of uh, Heart Care Association. I want to thank him for his continued contributions to our to our community uh, during this uh, exciting celebration. So thank you again to both uh, Sarah and Ginny for your presentation today. This has been Scott Corbin from the Heart of Cary Association, wishing you a wonderful month. Looking forward to seeing you at our May meeting. Have a great day.